new video this time uh, it's about it's about the seat posts not just from the Brompton I mean this is going to be focusing on the Brompton bicycle but you can use the same logic if you want a really high-end very comfortable setup for your saddle on a birdie or bike Friday or whatever it is if you're new to the channel this is a channel dedicated for small wheel bicycles scooters anything that you can ride on if uh, if this is something that interests you you may want to subscribe and also please check out the sub, uh, the description section I do add links on the products I talk about and I also have a mirror channel on Odyssey which is another platform just in case something should happen to my YouTube version so I own what is supposed to be what I think is the fastest Brompton bicycle and as you can see here is one of the videos I took this road biker is trying to overtake me but it's not working I noticed him in my rear view mirror and turned up the wattage to about 800 watts and he he persists for maybe two or three minutes and toward the end he just gives up this is from 2019 this video and I have a whole playlist it's called humiliations I did a lot of these videos in 2018 and 2019 I'm not doing them anymore but it's just fun stuff to look at and more evidence that uh, that I go really fast in the faster you go especially on a small wheel bike the more comfort is going to be a factor now if you want a very comfortable riding experience the one thing you can do is get a really good saddle the best saddle I've ever had was the super wide Brooks saddle I think the B33 that you see here is the best one it's the widest one that they have you can see the quality of the leather is excellent the springs are absolutely plush and super when you sit on this it's just so comfortable cannot be compared to any other saddle and this thing looks absolutely gorgeous on some it's not cheap it's 220 but I think it's worth it and if you keep it in a good shape you are always going to be able to resell it I once sold a Brooks saddle for slightly more than I paid for it after just a year of using it the best way to use these saddles is to get a really classy nice seat post you can get a titanium seat post titanium is kind of a springy softer metal and it gives you a teeny tiny bit of a an additional suspension in addition to the saddle but it's not a lot so don't count on using a titanium seat post to provide you with comfort people mostly buy it because it's ultra lightweight which I guess it's irrelevant because the Brooks is really heavy if you're going for a really comfortable wide saddle it's gonna be a really heavy saddle that's just the nature of the game and you know if you buy if you're buying a no-name TI seat post you can have it for half as much I think I paid a hundred ten for mine and you can get used ones if you just want to check it out on eBay for pennies I sold mine after a year for 15 bucks so that's all I got for it but getting a classy nice looking seat post from Brompton itself or if you're riding a birdie or, or bike Friday from the company that makes it that might look really good with 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 a nice saddle like like the Brooks if you want to go a step above that I would recommend the the Thoughtbuster suspension seat post this is not the only suspension seat post that you could buy you could buy others they are even more expensive they run somewhere around two hundred fifty dollars but this is actually probably the best for a Brompton or even for a birdie because it is the longest and you definitely want to get the LT version this one because the short version is going to give you less comfort and it's going to be shorter as it is in my case I can barely I am five foot eight and I have to use the full length of it and this is the full length so I 
I insert maybe the, the, the bare end of this into the bike and I'm using all the rest at five foot eight. I would say you could use this at uh, up to a height of about, of about five foot ten because because anything higher than that you can cheat a little bit in the bottom maybe you s you don't push it down as far into the frame but uh, anybody taller than that 5'11 6 foot tall that's a minority of riders but it's probably not gonna work you can buy uh, an adapter and I would certainly recommend with, with or without the adapter uh, the seat post itself is, is just super uh, the way to compare it is to transfer from economy on a plane into first class or business class. It's like transferring from a low-end Kia car into a Bentley. That's the difference. The difference is huge. This suspension that you get from the springs cannot compete with that. I mean, as well made as it is, uh, the Brooks is going to give you maybe an inch of travel and compare that to what you're getting here, which is three inches of travel. 90 millimeter that's roughly three inches now there are different sizes make sure that you, you get the 31.6 my Brompton is from 2018 I do not think they have changed the sizing of of the of the seat post for the last several decades but you can check depending on what kind of Brompton you have definitely if you have a birdie or something else um, make sure to check and, and get something that matches this, the size as close as possible. Now, Thudbuster is going to sell you all kinds of shims to fit into any size you want. So you might be buying, say you have a bike that has a 32 millimeter hole. You could still buy this and get a shim to fit it. So you just need to make sure you get the right information from the company that made your bike and Thudbuster as well. I should also mention that if you have something like uh, a Molten and certain other small wheel bikes that are not foldable, they typically don't need this this length. You can use this length, but you probably don't need it. You still need to get the long travel to get the maximum amount of comfort. But if you want to get a shorter bar, you can get a shorter bar because those bikes don't have a long stem. They have excellent support go going all the way up to the saddle. Now to combine this, you could combine this uh, with the the Brooks, but I think it looks super ugly. You combine this classical styling with something that looks so futuristic, it just doesn't work. I, I don't like it. I would I would not combine the two, and I have seen many people do this, but it looks really ugly. I also felt that my hips are so wide, I wanted to get the widest saddle possible, and so I got this one. There are many different companies making these kind of super wide butterfly looking saddles. This Y Becky is just one of them. They are really cheap, so you can't go wrong. If it doesn't fit you, you can just get another one. They really do not cost much money. Now here's the bottom of my seat post. As you can see, the sizing is 31.6. And this is what the full setup looks like. I don't think it's a bad looking setup. It's kind of a somewhat odd looking thing, but when you're riding on it, nobody's going to notice. And what I really like about this seat is the the springs are not that obvious. I, I don't I don't even need springs on this thing because frankly the seat post is going to do more uh, of the of the heavy lifting than than any spring will ever do. So I, I this is what it looks like in the bicycle. I don't think it's bad looking, it's just that the seat looks really uh, big. Now when you buy it, this this is the Elastomer, uh, there are three versions of the Elastomer that Thoughtbuster sells when you buy the seat post, it's going to come with the hardest one. If you weigh 180 pounds or more, then I guess that's going to work. If, if you're lighter than that, I ended up uh, spending an, uh, an additional 10 bucks for the intermediate level, like the medium level. Elastomer, which is just very comfortable. And there is an extra light one for people like women, people who weigh 110 pounds, 120 pounds. You may need to go down to, to the lowest level, like the softest Elastomer, if you want to be comfortable. 
In the case of the Brompton, there is space for a light. There is even space for a camera if you want to put it on. And you see I'm cheating a little bit because you're not supposed to pull it out above this line. But I do just to feel super comfortable. I assume I could pull it maybe another half an inch out and I don't think there would be any damage. And notice that the Brompton is a little bit bigger than 31.6. Where was that sizing? Like this, 31.6, I think the Brompton is more like a 31.8. So there is a fraction of a millimeter that, um, that there's a discrepancy. So it's not really a super snug fit. What it means is that as you ride every two hours, this seat post is going to slide into the frame deeper and deeper. So every two hours you want to get off the bike and adjust it. Or you can put a piece of metal in this. And I got this metal from a can of fish. I think it was an anchovy. And the top of the can seemed to be the thinnest. So I cut a piece out of that. And, uh, and that's how I created this little adjustment that you see over there. And once I, once I inserted this thing, it, it just stays there for weeks and months. So it's just a little piece of metal that you put in and uh, the installation is rock solid. Thoughtbuster does not sell a size or a shim that fits the Brompton like down to the micron. So you, this is just some, some little discrepancy that you have to deal with. It's not a bad looking setup. The performance of it is outrageous. It's just I would you will never go back to a regular to a regular seat post after this. Uh, on the negative side, anything you do, whether you get the Brooks with a standard seat post or this thing, you are adding weight. I don't know how much this this one thing this thing weighs. Uh, it could weigh ten, uh, two pounds or. <sighs> one and a half kilograms that's like three pounds so comfort is going to come at a at a cost in the sense that the bicy bicycle is going to be heavier uh, same thing with this one i don't see the weight but they're just showing you the maximum rider weight which should cover everybody but this is fairly heavy and the seat that I bought, all of these seats are pretty heavy. I mean, these are cheap seats. You are paying less than 40 bucks. What do you expect? And to, to use this suspension seat post with some very slim ultra lightweight seat, that's another uh, option that I don't like because the aesthetics is gonna be just horrible. And because those racing seats are so narrow, it's not gonna feel that comfortable. Obviously, if your seat is not sized properly, you're not going to get the most benefits. And I have a separate video. I'm going to put a link to that video into the description. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's on how to properly size a seat and why you want to get a wide, wider seat than you think, when you currently think is, is your best fit. A lot of people think that the medium, the medium width seat is the best fit. In reality, in most cases, that's not the case. Those seats are very light, but they are not very comfortable. So this is it for now. Subscribe to the channel, and I will be back later.